Please put your hands together for Mr. Zach Benissi. Give it up for him. Uh, it's amazing. I don't know any of you in here. <laughs> Are we supposed to pick on this guy? <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying I don't trust. I don't trust guys who piss directly into the urinal water. And there's, yeah, I don't need to explain it very much. If you women don't understand what I'm saying, just remember back to all those drunk nights at 1.30 a.m. when you sneak into the guy's bathroom in the bar and you, you giggle in the stall and you don't think that we know you're there. We know you're there. And we know that if we went into the girls' bathroom, there'd be some sort of lawsuit on their hands. Now, that's all I'm going to say about that. So, another thing I don't understand regarding urinals, to keep it classy for you, is that uh, I don't understand why there's so many cubes on it. And I don't know, somebody in the crowd can give me an explanation. Um, I've, I've tried to pull cubes out of myself. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Not only is it hard to pull out, it's extremely painful. So I, I want to know who's who's just standing there casually and just has a view of just fall out. Like, like a Beauty and the Beast rose petal. Just gently falls out. That doesn't happen. It does not happen, I can guarantee you. I've been being in Euros for 10 years with a full bush. We'll say 14. 14. I'm 24 years old. I'm 10 years strong, I have never lost a man. I'm like the greatest general the country has ever seen. He salute his General Zachary Menezi. He's been commanding the army for 10 years, the pubic army, he has never lost a man. I've never lost a man, and I don't understand. For my own personal knowledge, I need to know what mystery wolf men are walking around us that are shedding on urinals. Like a Siberian husky, just walking around, dropping their pubes on everything. It's not, it's not right, and it's not okay. Um, speaking of Siberian huskies, uh, I just got a dog recently. I'm sure there's a lot of dogs. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. We know you love dogs. Uh, this joke is not for my my current dog. It's for my uh, my family dog. Um, for all of you kids out there who wanted a dog when they were growing up. Uh, you say, Mom, please, please, can I get a dog? Please. You, it's the happiest moment of your life when you get a dog and they say, you know, oh, well, maybe Santa Claus is going to get you a dog. <laughs> Santa's not getting that dog. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> what kind of responsible human being would be riding around in a 10 by 10 sleigh with 300,000 puppies for the entire world? One of them's going to die. <laughs> But yeah, my parents got me a dog when I was 10 years old. Um, it was the happiest moment of my life. Little did I know it would be the biggest regret. Um, you know? No, oh, yeah, no, yeah. Just everybody give me a break here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I have allergies and asthma, so why don't you just add to it? You know, they're right there, right? Here. I was there when the doctor told you not to let me, not to let me have a dog, so. Just ignore the doctor. Give me whatever I want. It's one of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it just turns out that a dog is a younger sibling that will never disappoint your parents as much as you do. You're gonna come, you're gonna come home from school one day and your parents are gonna be sitting at the table and they're gonna say, Zach, hey Zach, Zach, could you sit down for a second? We'd like to talk to you about something that came in the mail today. It's your report card. You guessed it, buddy. You thought you could get it before us, but no, you didn't get it. Do you have any explaining to do? Be like, uh, I think I got mostly A's and B's. Um, you know, maybe a couple classes fell short. Yeah, yeah, a couple classes. How about math? You got a C. Yeah, what are we raising some type of goddamn moron? A C? Unbelievable. You think the college are going to look at your transcripts with a C on your sophomore first semester of high school? Goodbye, Harvard. Goodbye, Yale. Goodbye, any college. Might as well pick up a broom because you're going to be sweeping the streets, you hopeless fuck. <laughs> they act like it's the end of the world, but it, you, you never come home to your parents just like having to sit down with a dog at the table. They got it propped up in the chair. They're like, why can't you be more like your older brother? He goes to school every day. He gets mostly A's and B's. He 
got one C, but we are confident that he will turn that around. He's a good kid. All you do is shit on the carpet. And you piss on her pillows and you chew up the couch. You never, you never have to deal with that. I'm here to stand up for all those privileged kids who got a dog when they were a kid. Because it's not fair. It's not fair at all. You guys ever do something stupid when you're a kid that still affects you today? And it's, it's, not, uh, it's not necessarily the worst thing. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, I thought it would be super hilarious to subscribe to the Facebook page, I Love Being Black. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not black, by the way. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, but it doesn't make any sense for me to think that it was hilarious because nobody else could see that. It's not... Like, I subscribe to the page, I get the notifications, nobody else is getting a notification that, oh my god, Zach is, is finally subscribed to another being black, he's black. <laughs> nobody, nobody gets it, so I would tell three people, people would be like, oh, that's hilarious, but nobody else gets it, so it's not funny. And, and the only reason I haven't unsubscribed to that page yet uh, is because it's still the most positive influence in my life. Eight years later, I have still subscribed on Facebook to I Love Being Black. It's because you can look through your phone like this and you see the horrible media and obviously that 14 killed in a terrible school shooting. 14 more left in the ICU. Um, and then you go, oh God, that's terrible next. And you go, Superstorm Ramses has just destroyed the entire population of North Dakota. And you're like, oh my God, North Dakota, that's not even about the water. It must have been a tornado or something. Next. And then you see the I love being black thing and it says, you are beautiful. And you can make a difference. And I look at it and I go, you're goddamn right I can make a difference. You're goddamn right I'm beautiful. I'm going to start a real estate company in North Dakota. And I'm going to sell cheap real estate to the good citizens of America. And that's my time. Yeah.